Car Call Enhanced F was a pistol that was super cool when first mentioned. Came to the US, disappeared, came to the US, disappeared. Now they're finally back made in the US and uh, I figured it was worth revisiting, especially with the funky sight system that I have on this one. Quick little revisit coming up next on GB Guns. Now, Car Call is based out of Idaho. These are made in Newington, New Hampshire, which is kind of like, oh, I don't know, where the largest gun company in the world is based out of. I went and visited the SIG factory, went looking for Car Call parts, couldn't see any, I asked, never got any answers, but that really doesn't matter. At least the gun is finally here. Um, one of the guns that Wilhelm Bubitz had design inputs on, uh, including grip angle and some other features, and this cool sight system. Now this sight system is not a requirement, you can get one with conventional sights, but the idea here is we've got a sight radius that is very short, forward of the port, however the uh, focal plane is pretty similar, and that can, can help you get uh, a better look on target takes a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of practice, but the theory is there and at close range it certainly works well enough for me. I had some struggles with it in the full review, uh, don't worry I'll pin that down below, but uh, wanted to come out and give it another try. I forgot that I had Band State compliant magazines, these are the 10 round mags unfortunately. So I've got 10 rounds loaded up of Fioki 115 grain and the C-Zone target out there at 20-ish yards. I'm going to try some ready up type drills and see how I do and just kind of bring you guys along on a revisit for, of a gun that I really liked, but we haven't heard much about them since. So that's my intent. Make sure I'm still in the frame here. And here we go. Yeah, I got to remember these sights. Oh, those two were misses, weren't they? Now I find my eyes focusing more on the rear sight than the front sight. There we go. But the gun is so comfortable to shoot. I don't know what recoil is looking like to you guys, but uh, I'll tell you with how high it tucks your hand up under the slide there, it's a really easy shooter. So in those 10 rounds, first time shooting the thing in quite some time, I did not have issues with the sights, which is funny because I haven't like learned it or studied it since filming the original video. I just did better today. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of leftward error, and I seem to recall that was something that happened to me in the original review. The front sight has been, <clears throat> not pinned, but um, shoot, what do you call it? When you swage a little bit of metal smashed in there. So it's not going to be adjusted anytime soon, but um, could be done later on. Really neat pistol, very unique design. If you're afraid of these sights, don't worry, you can get conventional sights for them. Uh, check the pin comment for the full review so you can see what all makes this thing up. But it's, it's a neat, neat gun. Um, originally a UAE company and product, now being made here in the US. I find that to be kind of interesting. There aren't... Uh, I don't know of any other UAE companies <laughs> that are in the US making stuff. But uh, just curious why this never took off, why I don't hear much more about it. I hope it doesn't become one of those forgotten weapon type deals. Uh, the rear end of the slide is all an insert, which is another boobits thing that helps reduce slide mass, which reduces felt recoil significantly because you have less weight slamming back and forth. It's just a cool gun. Let me know what your thoughts are, and if you guys hadn't heard of this, check out the bin comment, and we'll see you tomorrow.